What's up YouTube? Jonathan with Texas Lunch and Dinner here. I'm very excited to do this video for you guys. I know there's a ton of you who aren't sure. Do you get the i5? Do you get the i7? Is it worth the extra money? Do you need the extra processing power? I put this video together for you guys. I hope it helps ease the burden of the decision for you guys. So I'm going to quit yapping right now. Let's jump right into the video. I'm actually going to start off with their similarities. They both have a 1440 by 900 glossy LED backlit display, both of which you can upgrade to a high res or anti glare. They also share 4 gigs of DDR3 memory, you can upgrade them both to 8 if you want. They share hyper threading, which means the OSC is 4 cores on both models, and they also share an 8 to 9 hour battery life. Now to the differences, the i7 has a base clock of 2.66 GHz while the i5 has a base clock of 2.4 GHz. As we move on to Turbo Boost, you guys can see right here the i7 jumps up all the way to 3.33 GHz while the Core i5 stays just a hair under 3 at 2.93 GHz. Moving on to the graphics card, the Core i7 has double the GPU power. Now this really isn't a factor if you're staying strictly on your MacBook doing light games, email, some video. Now where the bump in GPU power comes into play is if you're pushing an external monitor, doing 3D modeling like After Effects or Motion, or even Photoshop if you have multiple photos open at once. On to the actual benchmarks, the Core i7 scored 6272 and Geekbench 64, while the Core i5 scored 5630. So you can see the Core i5 is still a great little CPU. In the Cinebench CPU test, the Core i7 came in at 2.5, the Core i5 came in at 2.2. Like I mentioned, the Core i5 is still a great little workhorse. In the graphics card section, they both scored practically the same, so this is great news for you i5 users who want to do some moderate gaming. Into the handbrake test, that's where you see the Core i7 pull away. It came in with an export of 13 minutes and 11 seconds, and the Core i5 had an export of 15 minutes 21 seconds. Now moving on to compressor, you can see where the i7 jumps ahead again, a minute 49 seconds, and the Core i5 2 minutes and 30 seconds. For the last set of tests, I'm going to take you guys through iMovie. I imported a 1 minute HD clip, the Core i7 had an import of 41 seconds, while the i5 had an import of 52 seconds. Now moving on to the export, the Core i7 jumped ahead again, 3 minutes and 43 seconds for the i7, while the i5 took 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Now a minute or two minutes doesn't really seem like much, but if you add that up over the course of the day, if I save 30 minutes a day over a year, that's about 130 hours. Now that's 130 hours more productivity you can do, so if you're thinking about using this for your job, the i7 is the way to go. With that being said, the i5 is still a great little CPU. All right, I stayed quiet. I was waiting to see how many of you guys were going to start yelling at me. <laughs> Hit mention the hard drive because I didn't think it should be a deciding factor in the purchase. For 100 bucks more, you can get the same configuration. With that being said, if you do this for a job, if you do this for a serious hobby where you need the processing power, the i7 is the way to go. Plus, with the extra GPU boost, it can help push an external monitor. If you do 3D work like motion, After Effects, even stuff like Photoshop, that's the way to go for you guys. Now, on the other side, if you do email, uh, like web browsing, YouTube stuff like that. You can even do Final Cut Express, some iMovie, some slideshows, and the i5 is still going to tear it up as far as processing goes. With the money you save, I'd actually put that towards like an SSD, some extra memory. That's going to make the experience better for you guys. So I hope this video helped. I want to know what you guys are deciding on. Give me a text response. Let me know the configuration you're getting. I also would like to see some videos. So if you guys have any unboxings, any reviews, give me your video response and I'll check them out. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped and feel free to subscribe.